So recently I watched a video and tried to learn a little bit of Finnish. It was very enjoyable. As I said on that video, I feel like the Finnish language is just an enjoyable language to say. It's, uh, yeah, very nice. And I want to do a bit more today. This is 10 funny Finnish sayings. So this one's more about just learning more about a Finnish culture by learning uh, something interesting about their language. Tell me if you say these often. Tell me if you've said any of them before, if you've heard of all, all of them before. Uh, let's watch. I feel awkward. Yeah, I'm in Grand Canyon. When people don't talk here, it's actually so silent. But anyway, I thought I could do, thought I could do a little Finnish video and go through some Finnish phrases or something like that and, you know, translate them to English. You know how like people die when they take selfies and do the camera work? Like I, I feel like I'm a victim of that as well. Okay, back to what we are actually about to do here. Some Finnish phrases, 10 different Finnish phrases that are kind of nice to know. And you know, you kind of get the idea of like what Finnish people are like, I guess. So um, probably one of my favorites to say is Laita luukurkkuun. Laita luukurkkuun which where was I it's like when you, that's kind of like a threat so you could use that with when you are angry with someone and you're you kind of want to um, kick their ass and stuff like that metaphorically of course so you've seen okay that one this before. is a really good one it's um koita kepillä jäätä koita kepillä jäätä koita kepillä jäätä and it, it literally means this one like so many is a a a a a a that's a lot of is means that's try the like... ice with a stick so that yeah, basically means that stick. when you're trying your you're kind of pushing your limits with someone so for example when someone is annoyed or you know that you shouldn't say something then you kind of say it anyway and see what the reaction is so you're you know pushing yourself no you're pushing the other one pushing the other one off the edge that does not make me feel any more comfortable <laughs> given the fact that i might fall so I think and say wrong die place to say yeah that. so the next one is kuin perseeseen ammuttu karhu okay this is gonna be harder kun perseeseen ammuttu karhu which translates translates to a bear that has been shot in the ass and a bear that has been shot in the ass this is why I wanted to watch this, man. Like, actually, such an interesting turn of phrase. I know that even in English we use a lot of animals in these sort of sayings and things like that, but that one is, yeah, quite unique. And basically, that's kind of like the same thing when someone is annoyed, they're acting like a bear who's been shot in the ass. So, like, crazy, like, and violent. And annoyed. then, oh, this is a really good one. Um, you know, we say, like, if we don't in english we say that oh someone is broke or you're broke when you don't have any money but in finnish you say that you're like arse open it's arse open kind of weird that is what it is and open okay how do you say this persaukinen persaukinen it's kind of weird that is what it Arse is open. and but it just means broke and then if we are on this kind of same uh like on the arse topic so <laughs> it rains like esther's ass sata kun esterin perseestä <laughs> rains like esther's ass who is esther sata kun esterin persistista <laughs> It rains like Esther's ass. Sata kun Esterin perseestä. And yeah, that's exactly what it means. And there is no hidden meaning behind that. It just literally means that it's raining like loads and it's crazy. Some of my favorite or one of my favorite. Let's just what? I don't know. Why did I start making this video? Okay, the next one is Guasta pa kolmantena jalkana. Guasta pa kolmantena jalkana. Yalkana. That means you're running and your head is like the third leg. It means that you're so like you're rushing so hard and you're trying to be like as fast and furious as possible, but it's obviously not working well because if you run with your head, you're not gonna get good results. Okay, um, this one is interesting. Oma lehma oyassa. Oma lehma oyassa. 
So that means that you have your own cow in the ditch. So that basically means that you are basically blaming someone for something that you've done yourself. So <laughs> if, if you feel guilty about something, but then you trying to make the situation like seem like it's the other person because you're the one who feels guilty. Yeah, I think that's a good explanation. And the next one, we say, you know, like celebrities or something like that, when they get fame and the fame goes to their head, we say that they the piss has gone to their heads. It's a it's a good good kind of a phrase. The piss. Kusi nusut pahan, pahan. Kusi nusat pahan. When they get to their heads, it's a it's a good good kind head. of a phrase. Like asshole actually is more like a piss head. So maybe there's like Sut, some kus. correlation with those kind of things. So that's why we say that, you know, somebody has piss in their head. Oh, this is. Yeah, we kind of, not in that, yeah, we say you've got like poop for brains if somebody's not so smart. It's a nice one. Kind of <laughs> the phrase is something like, is everything at home? Onks kaikki kotona. Oi, onks kaikki kotona. Onks kaikki kotona. Something like that, it's, it's hard to translate. But it means like, are you okay? You think the person you're speaking to is a bit like, cuckoo. Okay, the next one is kind of funny. It's um, bagamambo. Vaca mambo, vaca mambo. It means horizontal mambo. I'll let you figure out what it means. And then we we say also, you know, when when someone is being like dumb and you're like, oh my God, like, why don't you have common sense? So then you would say, Ota järki käteen. Ota järki käteen. Ota järki käteen. So that means take the sense in your hand or yeah take the sense in your hand. And also there's another one, if, if if like a person is asking something obvious that everyone can see, like, oh my God, where's the Grand Canyon? It's like, well, you know, take the eye in your hand and look, you know, look, it's here, the Grand You know, take take the eye in your hand and look, you know, look, it's here, the Grand Canyon is here, like for fuck's sake. Okay. Yeah. A lot of these ones are quite like sarcastic or funny. Like I, I like these ones a lot actually. Man. I good. think maybe that was ten, or maybe that was less. I didn't count them. Maybe that was all the the good ones for now. And yeah, I'm in the beautiful Grand Canyon. I love America. So. That was really cool, man. So yeah, tell me what you think about them. Are these like ones you would say c commonly? Like, what, have you used any of them more than any others? Uh. Yeah, I guess a lot of them got quite like aggressive or yeah, aggressive undertones, maybe overtones, I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think about these. Is there any other funny, uh, funny Finnish sayings like this or uh, what you can use if you're like in a bad mood or you want to be like a bit like passive aggressive or something like that? Tell me in the comments. Thanks.